Sorry. We've got people in from Wales. I'm not going to take the piss, there's too many of you. <laughs> Two of you, bloody hell, you make a lot of noise. Um, and uh, where else, wherever else we got people in? Oh, we got, yes, of course we got people in, a couple of people in, I think, from Ireland, which is great, because um, I'm, I'm very fond of Ireland. I don't know whether you know, I've, I, have wrote, I wrote a book called Round Ireland with a Fridge. Did anyone know about that? Yeah. Thank you very much. It's done very well. I made a hundred pound bet with a friend of mine when pissed that I couldn't hitchhike round the circumference of Ireland. Just for a laugh, I went and did it. And it's, the book has now sold half a million copies. And I can't tell you how pissed off that friend is. <laughs> He's a bitter little man, and it's very pleasing. Um, but I did, I did write that book, and I know that there's somebody here actually called uh, Beth Robson, who's... She's an agent. Beth, I, I, I've been told that you brought a fridge in for me to sign. Is that right? It is absolutely correct. And you're a successful agent, are you? Or... <laughs> so where is, is your fridge here? Is it visible or... Oh, bloody... <laughs> you look like a man, I have to say. <laughs> well, there you go. There we go. I thought you were going to be a woman, but there you are. Well, Beth, I'll come over there and sign your fridge later. That's something I never thought I'd say, but there you go. <laughs> um, we've got a couple of people in uh, from America as well. Uh, one lady is coming to present an award. It's flown in especially, so welcome. We appreciate that. Uh, I, I have to tell you, I shall be doing the awards in English, so it might be a bit tricky. Uh, um, it's because I don't mean that in a nasty way, but it is a fact that American and English are two different languages. For instance, they call it zucchini, we call it courgette. Uh, we call these trou trousers, they call them pants. You know, we call, uh, they call Elizabeth Taylor an actress, we call an embarrassing old tart. <laughs> Bill Clinton calls it getting close to someone emotionally, we call it a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> and... I, ha I have to take my hat off to the people of Birmingham because when Clinton came to Birmingham for the G7 conference, they put him in the Swallow Hotel. <laughs> I think they knew exactly what they're doing. Oh, oh I've got a great idea, Bob. Let's put him in the Swallow, great. So, I did that. Um, Actually, I mentioned uh, the different names they have the things. They do call trousers pants, and they call braces suspenders. And I was over there, and I was invited to a party, and I asked this guy, what shall I wear? And he said, oh, just wear pants and suspenders. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> Best bloody party I've ever been to, I'll tell you. <laughs> Fantastic affair. One Australian, I'm told, they've got different words for things as well. They, their, their word for sellotape is actually durex. And I was feeling a bit optimistic when I was over there, and I thought, well, I'll get some Durex. And when I saw what they gave me, I thought they wanted me to make it myself. <laughs> and their word for to shag is to root. Shagging is rooting. And I made the mistake when I was over there watching the telly. I was watching the test match, and I made the mistake of saying, well, I'm rooting for England. <laughs> Jeez, you got a national team? <laughs> Keith Entwistle, he's about to do a charity walk. He's, oh no, not a cycle, it's cycle. He's going to cycle to Cambodia. Brilliant, well done, Keith. Where's Keith? Are you aware just how far that is? How long, how long is that going to take you to cycle to Cambodia? Six days? What are you going to cycle on? A what? You're flying there first. <laughs> I'm sorry, I completely misunderstood. Yeah, they're just going to drop you at the border and you're just going to cycle over and say, where's my money? <laughs> well, and they're going to say, ah, oh, Mr. Entwistle, welcome to the killing fields. <laughs> Hope you have a lovely time. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we've got to say commiserations, uh, something happened earlier, to Linda Hawkes of uh, Paper Rose greeting, greeting Card Company. She checked into the hotel uh, and she was told by reception that her husband, Alan Hawkes, had already checked in so she went up to the room, let herself in, was making herself look lovely and thought, hang on, Alan's got a new wash bag. And then she went into the other room and thought, I didn't know Alan was reading a book like that. And she was in my bloody room. <laughs> Just hope she didn't find the Roman centurion dog, that's all I thought. <laughs> 
So, uh, anyway, I'm, I might come to your room if I can lose Alan later. Uh, one safety announcement, uh, I've got to tell you, part of the housekeeping, uh, the fire arrangements. Um, we've arranged a fire for about half an hour. So just follow me, because I'll be out first. Um, actually, we should be pretty safe in here, as we are just a block away from the American Embassy, so shouldn't... <laughs>